sake of time, I've already got the look started. My eyebrows are completed. There will be a eyebrow link below. I have a eyeshadow primer um, that has been applied to the entire lid area up into the brow area and I applied a colored base and the colored base that I'm using is soft ochre by MAC this is just going to allow your colors to pop and adhere to the eyelid the first color we're going to start off with is called saddle and saddle looks like this it's a matte eyeshadow color for MAC and we're going to apply this to our crease area blending ever, um, ever so slightly And this is just going to be in our crease area to allow all of those colors to transition nicely across the eyelid. First lid, mobile lid color that we're going to apply is coming from the Coastal Scents 252 Ultimate Palette. And um, I don't know which tray this is, but this is the color right here. It's just a really pink, um, it's like a rosy pink color with like silver undertones in it and this is just going to be applied I would say the first um, inner third of the eye once you've gotten that color applied to your eye make sure to bring it down below and get the very beginning of your tear duct you will want to go ahead and take some water or some fix plus and spray your brush down and this is just going to give that eyeshadow a nice foiled effect. And again, it's going to help aid in allowing that color to just pop a little bit more on the eyelid. Using that same um, palette and tray, we're going to take the other color that's right next to it. And this is just a really pink, a really pretty lavender color. And again, this one has shimmers in it. And we're going to use that same flat shader brush and just apply that color to the middle of the eyelid and you don't want to bring it all the way across to the outer V just make sure you're blending those two colors together that are already on the lid and your brush may already be wet so you might not have to go back in and re-wet the colors the second time because using that same palette and tray we're going to go in and take this really pretty purple color right here it looks blue on camera but that's just how purple always picks up on camera and we're going to use a crease brush and create a V on the outer V of our eye and just pat that color in and then what we're going to do is take a um, Take that same brush and apply it just at the lower portion of our eye. Pick up a little more if you have to at the bottom. And then take a big fluffy blending brush and just start blending in circular motions. Now this step is going to take you some time because again, you see how dark that color was. You want to make sure that you do some blending. So you're going to use some circular motions. And just keep working that eyeshadow color, okay? Just keep blending, keep blending. Now just take that brush that was used for your contrast color and run that across the edges of that purple eyeshadow. What this is going to allow you to do is blend out those harsh edges and really just smoke out the purple on your outer V, okay? Now, I'm going to pick up just a small, just the smallest touch of another eyeshadow from MAC. And that's this one right here. It's called Brown Script. I'm going to just take a, just a little teeny bit on my brush and apply that to the crease. And what that's going to do is just warm up my crease up just a little bit, not too much. Still working with that Coastal Sense 252 palette. We're going to use that same tray and take this pink color right here. And it's just a matte pink color. Get a good amount of that built up on your brush. Tap the excess off. And place that in the middle of your lower lash line. And what this does is just give a nice pretty pop of color. 
that's not necessarily expected, but it still complements the eye look. And you just build that up as much as you want. To highlight the brow bone, I'm going to use a color from Wet n Wild. And this color is called Brulee. And I'm going to use that same flat shader brush that I was using for the rest of the eye look. And just simply pat this color at the highest point of my brow bone. Blending downwards. You don't want to apply too much, but just enough to give the, the brow a nice highlighted look. You could use a shimmer color if you want. Personal preference, I just like matte colors as my highlight. Take your brush that was for your transition color and just blend out the edges of that highlight. Because you don't want the highlight to be too showy. Unless that's what the look you're going for, then so be it. Apply a nude or flesh tone colored pencil to your waterline. This one is by Rimmel. And this is going to be applied just to the bottom lash line. Now that you applied that flesh tone color to your waterline, it's just going to help to keep the eye um, really bright and um, open now I did tight line which is just simply running a black pencil or along the upper lash line so that you don't see any gaps or anything between the eyelashes I'm going to now go ahead and apply some eyeliner I'm gonna use my Jessie's Girl waterproof eyeliner and the lashes that I'm going to apply are the Salon Perfect Demi Wispies now it's time to work on a face my face is already primed with my L'Oreal Revita Lift Miracle Blur. And that was applied all over my face prior to any makeup application. Now for my under eye concealer, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Long Wear. And the color is NW35. I have it applied on the back of my hand. And I'm going to use this Sigma Precision Taper Brush. And this is also a way to clean up your eyeliner as well to get that nice and perfected. And then I'm going to just take my makeup sponge. This is my Real Techniques uh, makeup sponge and just simply get this blended out. Using my RC Cosmetics brush and my MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Powder. I'm just simply going to set that under eye concealer. On the rest of my face, and I applied it to the back of my hand, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match, and this is the neutral color. Classic Tan N7. And I'm going to apply it using my Real Techniques Makeup Sponge. And this is simply just going to be applied to the rest of my face where there has not been any um, facial products such as the concealer applied already. I'm going to go in with my contour color and I'm going to use the NYX Matte Bronzer, and this one is in Deep Tan. And I am going to just contour my face. Lightly, I'm not going to do any heavy contouring at all. Because the eyes are already enough I don't really want too much else competing with it blush I'm going to use my Milani powder blush and this one is in floor pla floor passion and I'm going to use a um, stippling brush to apply this to my cheek area I always start, start like to start excuse me in the middle and bring it forward 
And I like using a stippling brush because it just gives it a really nice, pretty airbrushed effect. For my highlight, I'm going to use my MAC Double Definition Extra Dimension Skin Finish. And um, it's just two gold, pretty gold colors. I'm going to use my MAC 116 brush and highlight the highest points of my face, which would simply be my cheekbones, right above my eyebrow, bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, cupid's bow, and chin. Now you can apply this wet as well, but for the most part, I apply it dry. All right, and now for my lip color, my lip color is actually from NYX and it's a butter gloss and this one I believe is called Cupcake. This is what the lip gloss looks like, Cupcake. And um, now for the rest of my face, um, I am going to set a little bit because of the simple fact that I really don't want to worry about my face uh, getting oily on me or anything. So I'm going to just use my Revlon Photo Ready Powder. And the color I'm using is medium deep. And I'm going to just use my really big fluffy brush, brush <laughs> excuse me, from Real Techniques. Now I'm just going to simply press this in. And I mainly uh, get oily in my T-zone area, but everything else has a powder to it, like the areas that I contoured, apply blush, and highlight, and I already set my under eye concealer, so I should be pretty good. And that's it. If you want, go in with a setting spray. If not, then the look is completed. I hope you dolls enjoyed this look. As always, and until next time, have a gorgeous day, dolls. Smooches. Mwah. Bye.